我这现在要以前要八个小时，九个小时。八个小时，九个小时，以前。但是现在的话，就两个小时。两个小时，两个半小时。Good day and welcome to Bayin Railway Station. This is infrastructure at its best. Located in the Bayin district of the Guangzhou city, Alens, this big or massive train station is the biggest in the whole of Asia. And guys, when you go on the inside of this railway station, you see a lot of modern technology. And we'll get into that very soon. But a few background about this place. This was newly opened on 26th of December 2023. And before then, I learned that there was a train station here called the Tangxi train station, which was built around 1916. And they thought of it wise to build this new one to replace the one that they had before. And guys, when you get here, you just feel the newness of this place they've got some modern um, buildings that they are building around this train station just as you can see at my back and at length there are going to be hotels there are going to be malls just to support people who are traveling via this train station my name is Felton and i do videos about how life is in china and also infrastructure like this so please do all well, support me by liking this video, subscribe if you're new for more updates like this. And uh, let's get into this newly opened state of art railway station. Let's go. Now getting close to this train station, I can see that there are a lot of space for people to walk around and have a good time. There is this escalators that take you up. There are stairs here too as well. And when you're walking here, you can see uh, even flights passing by because I learned this place is very close to the Bayou Airport. It's about 20 kilometers away from the Bayou Airport and about five kilometers to the Guangzhou North Railway Station. So it's very convenient for you to travel through this place. Wow, these guys are really changing the game when it comes to infrastructure. Take a look at these. Beautifully designed train station. And whilst you are here, you can see uh, very big or long escalators that goes to different floors. And then this place has about seven floors three up and then four underground so we'll go on the inside and i'll show you more on how things are in this place take a look at what i can see in front of me wow i see this um is it a leaf or something let me go back and show you you see this and it goes through down to the end have them here as well that is here it just it feels like something that you just you know bought brand new and you just open it out of the box because it smells so new in this place everything is so clean and sometimes i get comments that say oh you see infrastructure like this which look new in china but give them like a year or two and it will be so dirty but guys staying here for a few years i know that this is going to be long lasting you know Hopefully, maybe next year I'll come back again and come show you how it is. And other train stations or other infrastructure videos that I've done still look clean and new. That is how things are here in China. They maintain their technology. So let's go up. I'm going to actually buy my ticket from here to Shenzhen. Got all these high-tech devices that are here. You can literally 
put your ID. If you are Chinese, you can put your ID here. If you are a foreigner, you put your passport. When you get here, you see all these security check where you can put your bag in. There are a whole lot of them here. So I'm wondering if this place can ever be, you know, congested or packed up with a lot of people because they've made provision with all these um, security check machines that will make traveling here so convenient. Actually, in the waiting area that is here, and guys, this place is so vast. I learned that this is a meter square, which is very big um, for a train station. And I'm sure that this was really designed to be a very big transportation hub and just right in front of me, I can see some beautifully designed um, structure that's just here. And on it has charges, you know, like charging ports that you can literally charge your phone. This is a free phone, right? Yes, yes. It's free, you don't have to pay for it. Yes. Right? Oh. Do you want to pay for it? No, 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 I just want to pay for it. Wow, guys, this is just amazing. This is all free, you can see it all free. 你自己想来创建的话，就来这儿，好，创建，我们看看。Wow, this is so futuristic to have a train station like this here in China. I'm just amazed and overwhelmed. That's uh, how beautiful this place looks like. Wow. They've even got this where you can put your laptop or even your phone just as this person is doing and have a good time here. Wow. This is amazing. And also I can see these, uh, is it palm tree? With some flower just at the downside. <laughs> Thing, but this design actually looks like a very stylish flower, like a kapok flower, you know. Take a look. From my experience, I've seen about four um, gates that you can get inside or outside of this train. Wow, I see the final design that they are looking forward to build just right in front of me, guys. And let me show you in one, two, three. Wow. This is so futuristic. And it's just amazing that you see this at here and just right in front of you, you are experiencing it in real time. Where's Wow, Oh, 
然后啪嗒就啪嗒，晓得吗？对对，现在有高铁啊，有很多。对对对对对。我们我们买东西都不要不要拿钱。不要拿钱，以前是应该拿钱，是不是？就给钱。有这啊，扫就完了，是不是？你是不是用这个？对，我也是这样的。双车道，你们湖南那边是要多都超超时啊？超时？是要两个多小时嘛？两个多小时，那么快？高铁快啊 ！Guys， 高铁是很快，是不是？很快。以前坐高呃坐火车到，是不是？以前是多长时间到？火车现在要以前要八个八九个小时，八个小时九个小时以前，但是现在的话就两个小时，两个小时，两个半小时，两个半小时就到了。哇 ，So this man is saying that um he used to use like eight nine hours to get to his hometown, but now he uses two hours to get there. Wow, that is crazy. 你是哪一个国家的？我是加拿大。加拿大。加拿大。不是加拿大，加拿大。找个老婆，找个漂亮的老婆。漂亮的老婆。啊、<笑>我找一个湖南的吧，行不行？湖南人怎么样？湖南可以啊。可以是不是？我祝你家庭幸福啊,啊！好，拜拜。See like lots of Chinese convenience stores and some shopping, small shopping areas. Now, not only do they have this very big waiting area that you can see on my back, they also have some storage areas, ticketing offices, um, restaurants, shops, and even a tourist center for those who come for tourists in China. And I think this is very um, thoughtful of them to do. You know, this station is also well connected to. Metro lines,、um, bus stations, and also taxis. So you can literally get to this place easily, and also immediately you get here, you can go through to the subway and go to whichever destination that you want to go. So I really think this is a very、um, convenient, fast, and safe way to travel in China. And here you can literally see. Your train that you're going to board just right on this very big screen, so it's really going to be hard for you to miss your train. One of the advantages of using this massive train station is you can use either the、um, fast train, the slow train, or the high-speed train. All of them do move from this station, so、uh, it provides like. Equal opportunity for any kind of train that you want to use. You know, I'll get into my train soon, and I'll show you how it is there. Let's go. Alright, guys. So here we go. I'm going onto the train. The infrastructure just cuts across every area of this train station. Wherever you walk around in this train station, you get that futuristic feel. Let me show you this. Also, I learned that this train station has 21 departure and arrival tracks, and it also have 21 platforms. So, yeah, I'm getting into my train now, and I will show you how it is on the inside. Let's go. Every. Corner, every place at this train station gives you that futuristic feel, and just right in front of me has one. Again, take a look at this. You walk here and you feel like this is ten years ahead of time. You get what I'm saying? This is the future of modern technology. See you in the next video. Class 
effort, but this is just a train station here in Guangzhou, China.